Well, two great results here. Two upsets of sorts so far. Are we going to get a third? Well, let's see. Court one. Next up, men's singles. It's Lim Chun Yi of Chinese Taipei up against Anthony Sinisuka Ginting of Indonesia, the second seed. So great result yesterday for Ginting against Le Kian Yu. Put some fantastic stuff on. The winner of that match will take on either Zhao Junpeng or Rasmus Kemke in the quarterfinals. All the places up for grabs now in those quarterfinals. This half of the draw, the lower half it is. Later on, we've got uh, Li Zijia up against Lu Guangzhou to look forward to. That is our fifth match of the day. Well, joining me now here in the uh, commentary position, we've got the Olympic bronze medalist in men's doubles, Chris Langridge. Chris, it's been uh, quite a start to the day, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, we've had some uh, some upsets, some great performances. Um, and yeah, it's another exciting match we've got in front of us here. As you can now see the uh, matchup now between these two. I've only played once before, that was Ginting, who won it in three at the Singapore Open Red last year, which he went on to win. Lin Chun Yi, the uh, left-hander, against uh, Anthony Ginting. We're starting with uh, Lin Chun Yi, he's from Chinese Taipei, 180 centimeters tall, playing at his highest ever ranking. Won three titles on the BWF. World Tour, Super 100, the Kaohsiung Masters, who won not too long ago. Thailand Masters as well, the Super 300. Two titles this year alone. Beat uh, Thomas Junior Popov of France. 40 minutes yesterday on uh, court two. Won the World University Games, the uh, mixed team gold last year. Oh, sorry, earlier this year, I should say. Anthony Sinisuka Ginting is uh, 27. Shorter at 171, playing at his highest ever ranking as well. Number two in the world. He's a bronze medalist at the Tokyo Games and uh, also a bronze medalist at the Asian Games in Jakarta 2018. He beat Loki Anu yesterday, as we said. Fantastic match that one was. Also, a youth Olympic bronze medalist from 2014. And in terms of uh, titles on the tour, he has won six of them. Ready to this play. This year, he won the uh, Singapore Open. He's also runner up at the Indonesia Open, his home tournament. Both times he lost to Vic, both times he played Victor Axelsen. David Graf von Schwerin is our umpire from Austria. And he'll be supported by Shan Tzu Hui of China. What are we feeling here for this one, Chris? Well, it's, 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 a, it's a tough one to call because you've got, you've got Anthony who's 
you know, a lightning bolt and played absolutely incredibly well yesterday. Mm. Had a little bit of a slow start, but then really picked his level up and I think he played really well against a player for me who's kind of up and coming and he's not that young, he's 24, but I do think he's improving all the time. Ladies and gentlemen. So it's going to be an interesting match. On my right, Lin Tuni, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, Indonesia. Lin Tuni to serve. Love all. Play. Sizing each other up, obviously, in these first few points. Serve is over. Now, Ginter was really impressive, One. wasn't he, yesterday oh. against Slokinu? How quick was he playing? Yeah, yeah, it's start, I think he was just getting used to the hall at the very start of the match, but then after that, probably from almost the midway point in the first, he really upped his level. Reading the game well, great variety, and obviously moving it is his warp speed that he has. Two, I think if you, one. If you purely look at rankings here, two against uh, 21, you'd say it's very one-sided. But right. when you look at some of the results from Lin, I mean, he's beaten some of the some of the best players in the world. Two. So he had um, Narioka, he had an absolute classic two. with, and by that, oh. it was a two-hour match. Two hours for men's singles. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've seen that before myself. Wow. Uh, yeah, we, it was 17-21, 30-29, 21-19. Um, just the Malaysian Masters earlier in the year. Also beat Lee Zijia in that tournament as well. Um, so he's beaten, you know, some of the very best players in the world. Mm. He just hasn't quite managed it on a consistent basis. When he's playing well, he's a really dangerous player. Red that was good. That was, good. That was yeah. in. Two. This is right on the line, the accuracy here. You can see there when he turns his body, he reads it. Absolute perfection. Thank you. Twenty-eight second round matches for Lynch and you at the World Tour. He's won 17 of those 28, but he has only won one of his last four. That was at the Career Masters just a couple of weeks ago. Four. And he's lost two. to the likes of Rasmus Gunke and uh, Jonathan Christie in those four matches. See there, Anthony, just indecision so asking his coach. Was it in, was it out? Three, I do think. Four. I think this one, I think it was just sneaking out. A slight indecision there. Serve is over. It's been a good start from Anthony Five, so far. Yeah. Three. So he's imposing himself on the match. It's hard for any player to try and match his speed. I think the only player that can was yesterday, Logan Yu. Cho Tian Chen earlier this year at uh, their home tournament, the Taipei Open. So, yeah, as uh, Chris mentioned, he's definitely got that capability. Oh. 
and he's drawn level Five. here. Five. Oh, you just shoot. Thank you. Using Chinese Taipei as a, as a country that Thank you. is improving so much in almost every single category. Um, there's a mixed doubles pair on court number two right now who have improved so much. Obviously, men's doubles, they've got the Olympic gold medalist. But Tai Ying for a long time, and every category now, men's singles, more depth. It's incredible how much they've improved as a country over the last four years. Go! Six, five. Serve is over. Six all. Six all here, very tight. Seven, it's um, six. Chris, you and I were talking a little bit earlier about conditions. It, yesterday, it was quite noticeable, wasn't it, with, with the drift? It's, it's not maybe quite as influential today? I'd say definitely the sideways drift yesterday was, it was quite big. And I think that maybe that shot just then that we, we saw oh! would have sneaked back in oh! just with the drift Service playing over. as we look from right Seven. to left. But today, it didn't really oh. move. And this can. It can happen from day to day, even, yeah. even from the morning to the afternoon. It just depends because mm. of the aircon. Um, and it can just alter slightly, and that's why it's so important in the knock-up or the start of the match, you, you get fully comfortable with whatever the conditions are. Right. Oh. Oh. How quick was he to that? Yeah. Eight, seven. He just waits there. He's just ready to pounce. Brilliant and great technique. Straight moving forward with his racket mm. and just over the top of the shot, but in a forward direction, not a downward direction. Oh! He is, he's a very dangerous player. Nine, he's got seven. fantastic power overhead, but he's also got great accuracy. I think it almost all came together for him earlier in the year when he played the, uh, the Thailand Masters in February, because it was a big tournament for him, and he, he, mm. he actually managed to triumph, he won that, and on his way, he beat Kenta Nishimoto, Shiyu Chi, and then <laughs> Angus in the final, Angus and Carl Long. That's a great bunch of victories there. And especially round after round, that's the difficult thing. For a player to have a one-off victory against a good player, mm. it's a moment of, well, not a moment, so but a match over. of, you know, when it all Eight. comes together, but to do it for Nine. a whole tournament, that's really, really impressive. Short lift though from Anthony, but what a big hit. And he does hit very steep as well. Mm. And see how high he jumps. Is that height, that's where the height advantage comes into play as well? Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's, he's a fairly tall guy, but also how high he can jump. He can really mm. get off the floor. This guy's got a bit of lift as well, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, he's, and his jump. Yeah, Anthony Ten. jumps incredibly oh. high. Not quite as tall a player, but he no. makes up for that with the height he can jump and the speed he can move at as well. That hang in the air, isn't it? That's oppressive. Yeah. Nine. 
Nothing in it at the moment between these two. If you recall yesterday as well against Nokia New, it was uh, pretty even. Until about 15 all or so. And he accelerated Ginting. Wow. And that wasn't even a bad lift. 11, 10, interval. Lift was maybe a little bit narrow, but still it stopped technically Anthony from having maybe the angle to play at. The lift's not even short. Incredible accuracy. <laughs> Literally on the line. 11 10, Ginting leads. Midway through that first game. <laughs> Eleven, ten, play. Oh, that's a delightful shot, Whoa. isn't it, Lynch and you? Serve is over. Fantastic 11, shot. You can oh. see Anthony, I think he was covering his forehand side. It was almost at the last second. Lynn just played it cross. Oh! <laughs> Tumbling down. 12, 11. <laughs> Fantastic shot. I mean, definitely a bit of fortune there because look how low he is to control that from there is an incredible oh. shot and anything other than the net cord and Anthony was right on it and he would have probably been able to kill it I mean there's nothing you can do once it tumbles like that right not really okay. to then get it back is so difficult but I'd say the shot Lynn just played then is like a <laughs> one in 50 one in right. 60 brilliant shot wow. just a quick so back over. movement also the 12. speed at which he goes into oh. the shot that makes it deceptive Seen so far the high ranked player in 13, the previous two matches 12. struggled in the opening game and in fact lose it. <laughs> Though the, uh, the low ranked player has taken uh, fairly significant leads at times. That hasn't happened here yet for Lin. And in fact, uh, Ginting now leads 14, by two. 12. Played Service seven. Over. 13, 14. players in the past. He's won six of those. The only time he lost was against Wang Tsui, actually, back in 2015. Interestingly, never played no. championship, but of course, those two have always been seen in players. 14, all. And overall, against. Uh, Harry Stapé players in his career, 24 wins out of 32. That has just gone long. Serve is over. 15, 14. Well, 
of instructions been given out. Thank you. Okay, go back. Ben's only met eight Indonesians prior to this, four all. This is record. No doubt, though, this is the highest ranked player he's played. Ginting. Ramping up for 16, space. 14. Something Anthony does so well, just uses speed to impose himself on his opponent here. Steps up well, holds on it, and he's just ready. And then just pushes it. it. Gives his opponent no time because he takes it so early at the net. Hanging in there. Only a point 15, in it, Lin Chun Yi. 16. Serve is over. 17. Again, it's the, the pressure of 15. the speed. The earlier Anthony's taken it, the more stressed Lin gets because he has less time to play every shot. It's almost forcing the pressure on him, forcing the speed on his opponent. singles now over. the accuracy from pretty mm. much every player 16, top 25 in the world 17. is so good it is a slightly short lift and it does give opponent time but it's we're talking two inches inside the line <laughs> up by one here ginting now two this is where Serve is the over. business end makes a difference. 18, 16. Again, just force the pressure, force the pace on his opponent. And when Anthony's done that in the last probably three points out of six, it has proved really effective. Oh. Serve is over. 17. 18. Just a wrong shot here, especially to the left-hander. He's ready for it. Puts <laughs> himself in so much trouble. Oh! Couple of very useful 18. points here for Lin Chun Yi. Oh. He's now just moved in front. 19, 18. Just forcing it a fraction now, the last three points. The shot selection just slightly off from Anthony. Just got to play the full rally, wait for his opportunity. Well, can you set up a game point here, didn't you need? He does set it up, indeed. 20, Two game points, Lin Chun Yi. Point, yeah, Lin Chun Yi, it just took it early. And again, Anthony. takes it early. And he just plays the full rally, he doesn't panic, and then it gets easier and easier, mm. and then it's a comfortable put away. Which is a really sensible, mature rally from Lin. Lin Chun Yi has taken the first game. First In continuing game the pattern Lin we've had here today, 18. where the high ranked players lost the first game in both previous instances, they went on to lose the match. This is fascinating. Lin Chun Yi in front here after the first game. 
Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. Good. Return to court. Ginting hasn't played too many left-handers in the last few years. This is only the fifth Love one he's played in Play. the last four. And he's won uh, only 19 out of 35 one against luck. lefties. Think of that what you will. Terrific battle with Kenton Momoto oh. in the past. I think now Anthony's just no. almost trying to play too perfect, trying to play too tight, too accurate. Two cheap points to start the second game. It's oh. an incredible shot. Very oh, nice. Three. Luck. See, Lin, he just steps in, takes it early. When you take it early, you've got all the time in the world. You can play any shot you want. He just holds it, that fraction here. Steps in, just that. Just totally wrong-footed, wow. Anthony, which you don't see very often. Yes. Great shot. Lovely deception on the reverse. Serve is over. One, three. He's lost five times this year to players outside the top 20. Ginting. Out of uh, 21 matches. Oh. Serve is over. Well, still a long way away from Four, that, but... One. Interesting to see. Just again here, it's incredible net from Lim. That he's so low, Anthony, to be able to play that net. You can see Lim's right on it. They're using his speed to take so it early. Over. When he has that big Two, push, that explosive, four. powerful push forward, he's so deceptive. It almost puts his opponent on their back foot. Well, that is a great shot. Three, four. Finds his mark beautifully here. Good tight net. Short lift, and it gets up, and absolute perfection, the inside of the line. Well, that's great as well. Serve is over. Five, three. Yesterday, when we were talking about 
the ends making a difference and maybe suiting one player or the other. It's not as discernible today, is it? I don't think so. It's not quite no! as obvious. On this court, anyway, and the other course could be different. Because each three. court can play slightly different just because it's such a large venue. Mm. It's a big, big arena, this. Four-point lead early on for Lin Chun-Yi. This is the thing, he's, he's so dangerous overhead. If you give him time, great net, he's taken that so early. On balance, got Line time, and brilliant placement. It's the angle, he does hit it very steep. That steepness with the smashes, that's such a great weapon, isn't it? Yeah, because it means your opponent, yeah, your opponent's got to take it so low. If they have to take it low, it's such a more complicated shot because you can't hit a flat shot, you have to hit an upward Thank shot you. no matter mm. what. And if you're hitting upwards, your opponent technically has more control of the rally. And that's a skill, isn't it, to, to be able to do steep smashes? Yeah, I mean, you need to be able to jump high. You need height as an advantage, <laughs> you know. But you've got to be able to take the shuttle at the highest point yeah. and, and hit in, obviously, a very steep downward direction. Good spell here for Lin Chun Yi. Three in a row. Now that might be one he could be disappointed in. Probably had Ginting in a good position there. And that's the speed. Oh, wow. The thing is, when, Five, when Anthony moves at seven. that speed and he's just calm, composed, moves the shot all around, puts pressure on his opponent, but in a calm way, he doesn't force it too much. He just looks so good. But then there's such a fine line because he's moving at such incredible speed to control his shots also. Again, maybe frustration for Lin. Six, seven. I think it was two shots in that rally. Anthony did phenomenal to get. There's one before this. This one's obviously incredible. But that's the thing. When your opponent keeps getting back these shots mm. that you think are so good of your own, you try and play slightly better, and he's gone obviously so wide, fractionally too wide, and then gives the point to, to Anthony. But incredible defense right. twice in that rally from Anthony. He's on a little run of his own now. Kintik, three in a row. He's just Don't returned that, hasn't he? You can Eight, do it, so can I. Six. Challenged by Ginting. Called out. Tight one there. Challenge it's unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Nine, six, play. So again, just when Ginting was closing down that lead, Lin Chen Yi has searched ahead again.
Goal. How good was that backhand? Ten, six. Incredible backhand. Reads it really well. This is the thing. He's got. He's, he's shown it. He's shown it throughout the year. He's got the capabilities to handle almost anyone. Brilliant again. Can 11, he continue this? Six, Can he see it out for the whole match? Wow, this is uh, very good for Lin Chun Yi. Leads by five here in the second game, having already taken the first. Lin Chun Yi. Good position here against Anthony Genting. Eleven, six, play. Serve is over. Seven. So important left. for Lin now that he doesn't give away any gifts, any easy points. He can't, can't let Anthony back into this. Yeah, that run just stopped again. Four points. <laughs> Two right after the interval. Eight, eleven. For Ginting. Yeah, it was better quality lift there from Anthony. You can see when Lin played his overhead fractionally, he's off balance. He just can't be as dangerous. That's why it's so important in singles or doubles. Whenever you're lifting, you're lifting so that your opponent is having to move, having to stretch. Oh, that's what he's been so good at. Serve is over. He's so dangerous overhead. Lin. 12, 8. Would that be something that you would then be thinking the flick serve might be not something I want to consider too much of? It's a risk. If you catch someone, obviously it's very, serve very dangerous. Over. But yeah, yeah if, if your opponent reads it and they're as Nine, dangerous overhead as Lin is, it is, a, it is a big risk. Lin showed us on the point before exactly why it's such a big risk. So quick again, Ginting, the lead has been cut to two. Ten, Both 12. players have gone really aggressive, trying to hold net, and then as soon as someone lifts, getting up. Anthony using his raw speed, and I think Lin just using his physical power overhead. It's been good for Ginting since the interval, 4-1 he leads. Well, it's not all power, is it? No, no, he's, 13, he's got good touch. He's 10. pretty much got a good all-round game. Yeah, it's just a cheapish mistake from Anthony. Also, he could take that fraction early. I know he's holding it to increase the deception, but I'm not sure the deception's needed there. Brilliant accuracy. That is fantastic from Ginting down the line. Both players now are holding 11, the net. 13. And then having a really high base, trying to force their opponents to lift. Lin did then and just caught it slightly wrong, a fraction short, a fraction flat, which allows Anthony to get up and hit an incredibly accurate overhead. There you go again. 
He wants that, doesn't he? Yeah, fractionally short left. I think it's the inside. 14, is in the front 11. tram line. I mean, it's great net. But there you can see how it's a short lift and he's so dangerous overhead. He's hitting that so steep. Mm. Obviously, the shorter someone lifts, the steeper someone can hit. But it's looking very, very good at the moment, Lin. The new shot lift. He has led throughout this second game. A couple of times, Ginting's got within a point of him. Both times, he embarked on a run of points. Chen Yi wants to maintain this. Yeah. And he's increased his lead to four. 15. 11. Wow. Could we be seeing an <laughs> upset in a row here in court one? Still plenty of time with this. Service over. 12, 15. It's definitely the right shot there from Lin. Just tried to play a fraction too tight. So he didn't quite have his body weight going forward as he struck the block. Still, excellent work from both. Yeah, brilliant rally in the crowd, absolutely love that one. Again, both players getting up, getting the attack, getting full power when they get the chance to. Shades of what we kind of saw yesterday as well, wasn't it, between Loki and you and him? But he's saw lots of this, isn't he, Le Chun Yi? He has. So important for Engineer, just keeps this lead, just keeps a little buffer mm. between him and Anthony. Two points in it. To the ways, Rory with delight with every point now. Lin Chun Yi. 13. And after his forehand net, see, takes a bit low. And Anthony's so high up there. Lin sees that great quality lift. Because Anthony in so much trouble, he struggles to get it away. And then Lin has such a high base. No! 17. Again, 13. just as it looked like my perhaps skinting. Narrowing that it's up to four, and that's also what he needs now to win this. <laughs> this is looking very good 15, for Lin Chun Yi. 13. Yeah, and I think for Anthony, he had an incredible um, patch. For Singapore Open, which obviously he won, Indonesian Open the final. And then since then, he just struggled just a fraction with his, his rhythm. You see in this match, he's just been a bit in and a bit out. Some incredible rallies, but then some cheaper mistakes. A little bit of wrong shot selection. Oh. Yeah, he did, um, he did suffer the... The death of his mum, I remember 13. that August, I think it was. Yeah, which is so incredibly tough for anyone. I mean, can't even imagine what he must have gone through and obviously mm. pulled out of the World Championships because of it. Six-point lead. 
He's almost there. He can almost taste it. This would be the biggest win of his career. As mentioned earlier by Chris, he did beat Kore Naroka at the Malaysia Masters Anthony. in May. He was world number three. He's now playing number two in the world. It is good. He's got seven match 13, points. Lim Chun Yi. Yeah, and on this one where he goes over Anthony, exactly the right shot where the big gap is. Controlled it incredibly well. On the cusp of something special here. <laughs> Do you think there might have been a bit of hesitation on that? A fraction, 14, I think it was incredible 20. shot quality from Anthony there. But it's a big, big ask for Anthony now to come back from this game down in 2014 down. Six more match points to save. That's well out. Two in a row for Ginting. No panic yet. 15. Will Inchenyi, surely. When you're in this position for Lin, sometimes you overforce it. You try so hard to win the rally that you gift your opponent some really easy points. Bob. 16, 20. Three in a row for Ginting. Yeah. What's it going yeah. over? <laughs> yeah, but Lynn hit it twice. <laughs> yeah, he did. It's incredible. <laughs> well spotted, though, by the umpire. I don't know if this is nerves now. <laughs> Four in a row. 17, 20. <laughs> and there's definitely a little bit of apprehension from Lin Chun Yi. As you identified, it would be the the highest ranked player he would have beaten if he can manage to go over the, the hurdle and the, when your opponent comes back like that, like you feel that momentum and it feels like that stress is just Thank increasing you. sometimes you forget what you've been doing so well which is moving the shuttle around getting on the attack and then it's been so clinical on the attack yeah back to doing that if you can you can taste it it's nearly there Still in control of this. That's a huge win for Lin Chun Yi. The biggest of his career so far in terms of beating a higher ranked player. He has just defeated the world number two in a super 750. He's already had a very good year anyway. And as Match we mentioned earlier, Kulanaroka, Chen, to name a few. 17. And now we can add Anthony Sinisuga Gintik to that list. A massive win here for Lin Chun Yi and fully deserved, Chris. Yeah, he played really well, really well. And I think he is a he's a player that's going to improve, I think, quite a lot over the next six months. And he's definitely a player for the future. Our third upset of the day here. A lower ranked player has beaten a big name. A seeded player. Amazing. Lin Chun Yi of Chinese Taipei has beaten Anthony Sinisuga Ginting, the second seed from Indonesia. 21 18, 21 17. It's taken 43 minutes to do so.